N0 FXB Andreas UK. Yeah, so uh, you want to set up uh, wires X. So the first thing to do is put into Google uh, wires X and then you'll come to this and then click it. You need to create yourself an account. So member registration. Uh, and then you need to wait for that to come through with your node number and your ID number. Once you've registered and you've got your node number, go to the node owners page and download the WiresX PC software. Click that and then send it all to a, fold a folder on your desktop. Yeah, so uh, to get the SCU20 driver, just go to the Yesu site, uh, go to uh, FTM400, and then just scroll down the list of files, go to the file section here, scroll down the list and you look for SCU20 driver cable, which is here. There you go, click that and you'll end up with uh, this thing. Then just right click it. Um, let's show it in the folder. So I wanna make You've got the SEU20 driver downloaded. Um, just run that and then finish and you've got that done. Make sure you don't connect the transceiver yet. Once you restart the computer after installing the SCU20 driver, you will have this window. So if you want to put it into WiresX mode, just uh, hold down the GM and the D. Oh, you've got to turn it off first. Hold down the GM and the D and push the on button. You're in WiresX mode now. And then, it's not going to show it now, but if you want to go to access mode, where, where it acts, makes the FTM400 act as a hotspot, all you do is push this button here. This one here, the bottom one, and it goes into access mode. You can decide what frequency that is in your settings, and then it will transmit, and you can walk around with your handheld, and your FTM400 is transmitting around the whole house, um, whatever you're connected to. I've got the what, the FTM400 in wires X mode. Here's the cable, SCU20. I'm gonna plug it into the USB. Right, the cable's connected to the USB. Now we're gonna try and find which number it is. We'll hit refresh. Nothing there at the moment. We'll try device manager. And we'll see if we can find it. Okay, once you've put in your node ID and room number and clicked ID entry, it will instantly boot up to this window. And then just let it populate. You have this part and this part to populate. If you want to add things as favorites, just select one, right click, and put add to bookmark list, and it will appear up here, and then you can connect. So there's the FTM 400 in direct mode. So we're just gonna connect one at random. Um, right click, connect. Try again. That one what didn't allow me, so let's try here. Right click, connect. Yeah, so we're connected there. CQ UK, you can see you've got the, the green emblems there because they're transmitting. When you trans transmit, your emblems will appear here with your call sign. Everything's sunk in there from HF. You go off.